everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you so much for watching this video. We have something really fun to do today. We're actually going to be icing a birthday cake that I'm making for myself and my friend Jen. My birthday is December 30th and hers is January 2nd, so a lot of times we share our birthday cakes together. This year what I'm gonna do is I'm actually icing it with a bunch of different colors. So it's kinda gonna be a rainbow effect. So if you've seen the picture on the blog, I'm now gonna show you how to make it here. Now first I started off by getting these neon colored food gels. These are much better than your typical food coloring because they're much more concentrated. So a little bit goes a long way. So in each one of these bags here, I did the different colors, a neon green, a neon blue, a purple, so on. And then I just measured them out evenly and now we're moving to our cake here. So what I did first with this cake, actually I'm not gonna lie, my husband did this, but we leveled out the sides of the cake. Cause first, you know, some layers are a little wonky looking. So we actually took a serrated knife and kind of sliced down the corners to where you get a nice, perfectly round edge here. So you can see I kind of cheated and I've already started, but this is what we're gonna be doing. I've already done each one of the colors here and we're first gonna start by going around the base. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit on the cake with this piping tip, make a little circle, push towards the cake like that and spread it. Easy peasy, right? So let's move on to the orange and I'll show you again how to do that. make a little circle like that and then spread it and also if you're having trouble doing that another way you can try i'll show you with the yellow here is you still do the same thing you make your round circle just like that and if you want to stop and i've done this on another cake before if you've seen it on the blog and you take one of these it's just a spatula push it onto the cake like this and spread it so either way, whichever one is your preference, you can do one, do both, see which one you like the best. And we're just gonna keep going around this cake. And once I get to the next layer, I'll show y'all what to do. that finishes up that layer and as you can see just all the way around we've completely finished that first layer my guess is it's gonna be about another eight or so more layers to go but that's all right we've got plenty of time here so what you'll do next is we we're wanting to get a diagonal effect with these colors so we'll go back to our first dot which was this pink one and really you can pick any color if you wanted to change up where your starting point was but we're gonna start with this pink one here and actually, just as a little side note, I put a little ice pack down here because sometimes your icing starts kind of get a little melty. All you gotta do is put a little ice pack down there and then I'll keep your icing nice and chilled while you're working. So here's the pink one here. So what you'll do is to offset and make a diagonal, you'll take this pink icing and either go to the right or to the left, it's up to you. But I'm gonna go to the left here and we'll just do the same thing that we've been doing and do a dot and drag. And then on top of the pink here, instead of doing pink, we're gonna do orange here. That way we continue our rainbow, but in a diagonal effect. Happy birthday, dear Lennon. 
Like what you saw? Thumbs up the video below. Want to stay posted? Click the subscribe button on your screen. Haven't had enough? Visit the LB community by clicking the text. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.